storm will hit. That's weather coverage you can count on. Maybe there was no eyewitness. Maybe there was an eyewitness. You've been up all night, haven't you? Yeah. And I gotta be in court in about an hour, and my closing statement, Lucy, is right there in that trash can. Yeah, I see that. You know what? It'll be okay. You will come up with the right words to say. Well, I wasn't even supposed to be in this mess. You know, I only agreed to handle the case temporary. I mean, she was supposed to get a replacement. I know. I know that. <laughs> Julie knows she lucked out. She really did luck out. Yeah. And so I'm working hard, doing my job to try and prove that there's a reasonable doubt that she didn't commit the crime. Right, which is not the same as proving she's innocent like she claims to be. I know you think that she's innocent, but I'm telling you right now, I still have a lot of doubt. <sighs> okay, that's fine. That, that's all right. I think what you're really saying here is you're just afraid <laughs> that maybe you're going to set a murderer free. Or send an an innocent girl to jail, you know? I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe she is not guilty, and I'm not working hard enough to get her off because I don't believe it, you know? Or either way, maybe I am doing the wrong thing, and the bottom line is, hell, we're never going to know. So have you eaten yet? You know what? I'm not very hungry. OK, bad dreams, you're not eating. This is more than just the trial, Courtney. The insurance adjuster called, and they made a decision about who's to blame for the accident that killed our baby. So what did the insurance company decide? That neither Karen or I were at fault. You were hoping they would pin it on Karen? Hey, uh, I might argue with the experts. You know. A woman who loves a good fight. Well, I'm, I'm trying to take your advice and put it behind me. A whole lot easier said than done. Courtney, when a child dies, it, it seems so pointless. But when it's your own, there is no making sense out of it. I have all of this, this anger inside me. And all of this, this sadness. And I just, I don't have anywhere to go with it, Frank. Look, I, I know you want to blame somebody, but sometimes bad things just happen. I keep seeing it. I keep seeing it over and over in my head. Karen's car is coming right at me, and I hit the brakes, and I, and I skid. Losing the baby hurts, OK? Sometimes so bad, I can hardly stand it. But then I think about you surviving the accident, and I thank God for that. And so does Neil. I'll never forget the way he held on to me when I got back from the hospital, like, like I was his lifeline. There is nothing you wouldn't do for him. And he knows it. No, 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 no. You see, uh, Neil, he, he doesn't know anything. Neither do you. Shouldn't Scott be here by now? Julie, you did your part. You got up there and you told the truth. Now all we need is for Scott to drive that home to the jury. It's one thing to get up there and lead me through my testimony. But to ask a jury to set me free, I really wonder if he can pull this off. I don't think Scott does anything halfway. So, what's your guess? The jury goes out today. How long do you think it'll take them before they find her guilty? Well, that's far from a sure thing, since Scott put her on the stand yesterday and made her look so damn good. What are you going to do if they find Julie innocent? I felt I had an obligation to stand up for the victims in this case. I've done that. 
and you have also done everything you could to make sure Julie got the help that she needed. Well, I won't give up on that goal. <laughs> Scott and Lucy are reasonable... Excuse me. Scott is a reasonable person. <sighs> Why can't he see what a danger Julie is? I don't know. But then again, maybe it's not too late to try and persuade him. Well, honey, we, we just wanted to be here to show you our support for you. Want to watch my brilliant son in action? Don't listen to the king of closing statements. Hey, you know, today, maybe, he's going to learn something from you. <sighs> I oh. doubt it. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. You know, Julie's defense really took a nosedive after Cooper's whole testimony, and now one day you turned it around. Closing arguments are going to be a piece of pie, a slice of cake, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you have such faith in me, Lucy. Always, because you help the people you promised to help. I'm a shining example of that. Well, no. You see, when he promised Julie, that was a life and death matter. And an obligation to balance justice with any sort of lingering doubts that you may have, Scott. Well, yes. She claims that she's innocent. I'm still a little uh, sketchy about that. You know, I have been right from the get-go okay. here. All right, I am not denying Julie did some terrible things. What are you talking about? She tried to entomb you like King Tut for crying out loud. But I do not think she would have just left even I to die. Well, do you think she's incapable of killing someone? Yeah, you know, Gail, I'm, I really am beginning to believe that. Well, if Scott does as good a job as I think he will, I hope you're right. <laughs> I'll, um, get some seats. I'll go with you. I need some advice. You mean how to convince the jury that Julie is innocent when you can't convince yourself? What are you, Kreskin? No, just a dad. And your answer is this. Just argue the facts. Yeah, the prosecution is very weak in that department. Yeah, that's why they've been dealing in nothing but rumors and speculation. You just cut right through that smoke screen, and then the jury will be able to use their, their own common sense. And guilty or innocent, Julie's fate will be in their hands, not yours. Come on. How are you doing? Ah, uh, a million butterflies, you. I'm ready. All rise. This trial court of the state of New York is now in session. The Honorable Anita Martin presiding. Please be seated. Ms. Jensen. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I thank you for your patience. You've had to endure a long and misleading tale of woe about Julie Devlin Ramsey being a victim here. Personally, I think it's an insult to your intelligence. The only victim here is John Canellos. He was murdered. Julie Devlin Ramsey murdered him in cold blood. This dry skin itch? He could be scratching to infection. You need Lanocaine, now with antibacterial to help prevent infection. And it moisturizes with aloe. No more itch. Lanocaine, the itch killer that's a germ killer, too. Another strong argument for the new steel. Feel the strength. You lingered over the coffee pot. Now you can eclipse it. A spicy latch and your breath is hot. Now you can eclipse it. Discover new Eclipse gum from Wrigley. Each piece delivers a powerful burst of fresheners that quickly eliminate the strongest mouth odors. Say goodbye to all of that. Erase bad breath in seconds flat. Now you can eclipse it, yeah. Now you can eclipse it. It's new Eclipse sugar-free gum from Wrigley. We can call and say you're sick. For seven million kids who wet the bed, a sleepover can be a nightmare, often just because their bladders haven't grown as quickly as the rest of their bodies. They don't know there's something that can help, that protects yet looks and feels like real underwear. 
Good nights mean good mornings. It seems no matter where you go, people are hearing about Clairol's oh. Herbal Essences Shampoo. Oh! Oh, it feels so good! Yes! 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 Herbal Essences, a totally organic experience. Rev up the toaster. Kenneth, you're in charge of waffles, Lewis, English muffins. We blend Jif to make chocolate silk, apple cinnamon, and berry blend. What's your job? I'm management. They'll take it from there. New Jif smooth sensations. If Julie Devlin Ramsey isn't the victim here, then who is she? A dedicated physician who cares about the sanctity of life? Or a robot with no will of her own, brainwashed by Greg Cooper to carry out his plans of revenge? Well, even the defense will tell you that the answer is that she's both. Good doctor by day, slave to a psychopath at night. A psychopath who is locked away in prison, unable to threaten anyone, yet he snaps his fingers and Julie changes like Jekyll and Hyde and her dark side murders John Canellos. A plausible scenario. One that the defendant even conceded was accurate in a signed confession. Then the story changes. Now the defense is claiming that Julie had a working conscience left, that it made her draw a line and that even if Greg Cooper had given her an order, she wouldn't have murdered anyone. An implausible scenario. One a clever shrink, Rachel Locke, helped Julie concoct. Magically, she remembers, I didn't kill John Canellos. Greg Cooper only made me think that I did. Is it possible that Dr. Locke uncovered some totally bogus memories like she did in another patient that she rehabilitated? Well, that patient was acquitted. Then she went home and murdered her own father. Well, at least Julie's new memories can explain the inexplicable. What was she doing at the scene of the murder? Well, evil Greg Cooper called her that night, gave her an order to stand next to the body, waiting to be arrested. Now, does that sound even remotely believable? Apparently not to Julie's husband, Chris Ramsey, or to her therapist, because they tried to bribe Greg Cooper into confessing that he was the murderer. Why? Because Julie Devlin Ramsey had run out of options. Somebody else had to take the blame for the crime that she committed, a crime that she fully confessed to doing, that she brutally murdered John Canellos, impaling him on a sword, standing next to his body, watching his lifeblood drain away. Julie was her own eyewitness to this murder. And you know what? I believe her. That being the case, I am confident that you will find Julie Devlin Ramsey guilty of murder in the first degree. Yes. Thank you. I feel better already. I guess it didn't help me bringing up how much Neil needs you. It just made you think more about the baby we lost and the chance we had to save Neil. Well, maybe everything gets taken away because that's what I deserve. Why would you say something like that? Why would you even think it? Just forget it. No, no, Courtney, don't shut me out here. Please, I want to help you. What if it's my fault that our baby died in that accident? The insurance company said no one was to blame. Well, they weren't there, Frank. And, and they weren't inside my head when I was driving through that snowstorm. Just, just so determined to stop you from telling Joe he wasn't Neil's father. No, that was my fault, not yours. You weren't the one who was pregnant, carrying the baby who might save Neil's life. And, and you, you weren't the one who was driving too fast, just risking everything to keep some stupid secret. Why do you think I tried so hard to believe Karen was responsible? 
so I wouldn't remember how I, I looked down at that speedometer. And I knew I was going too fast and that I should slow down, but I didn't. I killed our baby, Frank. So do you want to help me now? The prosecutor was certainly good. Do you think you can do better? Mr. Baldwin? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we are innocent, all of us, until proven guilty, not suspected of being guilty. That's not good enough. We need facts. We need proof here. And that's the problem here. Prosecution hasn't come close to proving beyond reasonable doubt that Julie Devlin Ramsey is guilty of killing anyone. My dad's just moved in with us. He's quite a character, very disciplined, very organized. And that's going to be difficult with two very active little boys. I know his appearance is very important to him. He keeps those shirts of his spotless. I don't want them to end up dingy when they get thrown in the wash with the kids' dirty stuff. Liquid Tide's new clean rinse formula. It helps prevent dirt in the wash water from redepositing on clothes, so everything comes out whiter than with regular detergents. I think they're going to learn a lot from each other. What makes the fiber and Citrusel fiber therapy so special? Compare. All these fiber therapies, including Metamucil, contain psyllium, which can ferment in your system to initially produce excess gas. Only Citrusel's fiber can't ferment, so it won't produce excess gas. And only Citrusel's fiber is 100% soluble. Citrusel is the smart fiber for regularity. For effective relief, choose Citrusel. 100% soluble, no excess gas. Citrusel. Are you ready? Introducing a disposable bottle with a whole new twist. We're ready. Johnson's Health Flow Twist and Lock. The only disposable bottle angled to help you feed your baby in the semi-upright position. This right? Perfect. To help reduce the flow of fluid into the middle ear, which can help prevent ear infections. She looks happy. Johnson's Health Flow Twist and Lock. It does what no other disposable bottle can do. Isn't this amazing? Sure. The new Johnson's Health Flow Twist and Lock. When can we do this again? In about three hours. <laughs> Chapstick. Chapstick. Chapstick lip moisturizer with vitamin E and aloe. It does more than protect, it helps heal too. For protection that helps heal, stick with Chapstick. If you hate cords tripping you up, you'll love Conair's convenient Cord Keeper Dryer. The Cord Keeper Dryer. Another Conair first. It's the one to wind up with. Now in travel size. <laughs> My life with Pat, even those thin ones, was full of Oh, and oh, no. And this weird feeling I was wearing a diaper. That's not how I want to be protected. No. Then I got a hint from a friend. <laughs> Latex tampons, she said. <sighs> what a difference. Difference. Latex Gentle Glide tampons adjust to comfort fit your body. So they're more than invisible, they're completely comfortable. Latex Gentle Glide tampons. So comfortable, tampons. you can't even feel them. Bye-bye, pants. It's the final showdown. My game. My rules! Has Janet been pushed to the wall? Kill Sophie before she kills Amanda and Trevor. Or will Sophie turn the tables? I'll have my pal break your buttercup in two. It's a fight to the end. You did it now! Don't miss All My Children, ABC Daytime. Prosecution over here is playing on your emotions, because that's all she's got. Believe me, that's all she's got. She's got no proof that Julie is guilty. Well, nothing but a confession from a woman whose mind was being manipulated by a madman. You got to see Greg Cooper in action. You saw how he manipulated Julie's husband, Dr. Ramsey, and her psychiatrist. He said he'd get up on the stand, he'd say one thing, he gets up here and he says something completely different. That's how he manipulated Julie. Imagine what it's like to be held hostage, to be tortured, to be starved, to be threatened to have your face carved up to satisfy some sick fantasy of his. It's lucky that Julie survived it all. And a miracle that she's been able to recover her sanity. She's more than sane, and she's filled with remorse. 
about having her spirit broken. None of us want to see the guilty go unpunished. By the same token, we don't want to see innocent people suffer. That's why I want to remind you, there are no facts to convict Julie. And there is plenty of room here for reasonable doubt. You know, I, I didn't want to take this case because I thought that she was guilty. Then something happened, and it changed my mind. Objection. Counsel is testifying to his own experience. You want to risk it, Mr. Baldwin? Hear me out, Your Honor. If I'm off base, you can just strike it. Proceed. On New Year's Eve, my girlfriend and I were going to get married, but our daughter disappeared. She was found and returned to us by Julie. Now, Julie could have taken off and left Christina to freeze in the cold. Instead, she brought our baby back to us, knowing that she would be locked up again. I had to ask myself what sort of a woman would rescue a child that wasn't hers and help people like me who have shown no sympathy at all towards her when she had a chance to run. The best answer I could come up with, she's an innocent woman. Don't, don't. Why not? Because I don't want your pity, Frank. That's what you're feeling, isn't it? Sorry for me. Courtney, you were upset the night of the accident. The weather was lousy. You don't know for sure that you were speeding. No, it, it, it was more like I was trying not to remember. But then, but then I had to go back to the crash site, and, and that's when everything came back to me. I was driving way too fast for the road conditions. So the accident was your fault? I killed her baby. Look, do you need to blame somebody? Blame me. Why, why were you out in that horrible weather in the first place? Because I did a number on you, threatening to tell Joe that I was Neil's father. I set the whole thing in motion. I should be asking for your forgiveness. I don't want to blame you, Frank. Then stop blaming yourself. We both feel guilty, but we can't give in to that because we have another kid who needs us to be strong for him and to love him. And to make sure he gets better. And that is going to happen. But first, you and I have to help each other. Now that I have given you your instructions, you may retire and begin your deliberations. Court will be in recess. All rise. I can't believe how convincing you were, Scott. There's no way they can ignore what you said. Juries are funny. Like lawyers? I mean, you're still not sure yourself that I'm innocent. I'm a defense attorney. I did my best to defend you, OK? And let's just leave it at that. Scott, you were amazing. Yeah, thanks. Well, now we wait for the verdict. That's the toughest part. You uh, took a big risk there using your personal experience, you know, there, counselor. Yeah. Well, maybe I did. Maybe I did. Do you think they uh, bought it? I don't know, but what I do know is, is you didn't try and gloss anything over. You just were simple and you told the truth, and I just hope they believe you. I think they did. Hell, I almost believed you. Yep, me too. I started to wonder if you were talking about the same Julie Devlin that I know. My job here today was to prove reasonable doubt, and that's what I tried to do. And if Julie is released and she cracks up again and Cooper uses her again, I'll have nothing to regret. I did what any good lawyer was supposed to do. What's any good psychiatrist supposed to do in the same situation? Pray that she gets the help that she needs. She's not fully recovered, Scott, no matter what you spout off to a jury. 
Where did it come from? The strength Scott found to believe in me? Maybe like, he finally realized he was defending an innocent woman. Oh, it was your testimony, after all, that turned this trial around. And where did you find your strength? Christina. In the dream I have of being with her. And you will be, Julie, very soon. Very soon. She has a high fever. You know what it's like to wait it out. When time counts, Children's Advil relieves her fever fast, faster than children's Tylenol, and lasts up to eight hours. Children's Advil fights fevers faster. Look what's for dinner. Man wish! <laughs> you guys had a long practice today, huh? Yeah. Your drawing is fantastic. Well, she gets yeah. that from me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mom, can I have another man -witch? Of course. Make it man -witch and make it fun. Love. People have fallen in love with the scent of Gain Laundry Detergent. A scent that's clean, bold, and invigorating. And now that fresh scent is in Bounce. Try new Bounce with Gain Fresh Scent and fall in love with our boldest Bounce ever. Nothing rounds out a winter day like a buttery, flaky Ritz. Nothing fits like a Ritz. If you think all drain cleaners are the same, take a look at this. The problem with Liquid Plumber is that it only cleans here, so clogs keep coming back. That's why we invented Drano Foamer. It expands, filling your entire pipe, and scrubs it clean, getting the gunk Liquid Plumber leaves behind, so drains stay clear longer. Drano Foamer keeps drains clear longer than Liquid Plumber. S.E. Johnson. Americans love food, always have, always will. It's part of our culture. You can't go anywhere without being reminded, excited, or enticed by a variety of things to eat. It's no wonder so many Americans are considerably overweight. But if you're serious about losing weight and willing to make the effort to change your diet, Zenical can help. Zenical is the only prescription fat blocker. It actually blocks about one third of the fat in the food you eat from ever being digested. So if you avoid temptation and start eating reduced calorie meals, Zenical can help you lose weight. And that's pretty enticing too. So if you're considerably overweight, at least 30 pounds, depending on height, ask your doctor for more information. Since Zenical blocks about one third of the fat in the foods you eat, you may experience gas with oily discharge, increased bowel movements, an urgent need to have them, and an inability to control them, particularly after meals containing more fat than recommended. Zenical shouldn't be taken if you are pregnant, nursing, have food absorption problems, reduced bile flow, or taking cyclosporin. Zenical reduces the absorption of some vitamins. Therefore, a daily multivitamin is recommended. Read Lisa Ann Hadley's star interview at abc.com, part of the Go Network. ABC Wednesday is the big story of the new millennium. Yes! Yes! With the Drew Carey Show and Spin City going back to back on Wednesday night, it's not that scary. Uh, maybe just a little. A new year for everyone, a new night for Spin City, and a new hour for you. Uh, wait, wait I, I'm not done yet. Well, I guess I am. The Drew Carey Show and Spin City. See you tonight on ABC. Tonight the perfect husband until he stabbed his wife 44 times and his defense sleepwalking watch as the stunning verdict comes down 2020 tonight tonight starting at 5 on WFTV channel 9 eyewitness news imagine paying for tickets arriving at the gate and next they tell you sorry your tickets have been voided we'll have complete coverage of dozens of stranded passengers and how safe are you at your favorite restaurants channel 9's complete coverage team goes behind the scenes to show you how burglars are getting in plus will it cool down for the weekend we'll have your early morning weekend forecast tonight starting at 5 on channel 9 eyewitness news Imagine an exciting career building skyscrapers, shopping malls, hotels, and ballparks. Your future begins at the Career Building Job Fair, January 22nd at the Channel 9 Studios, starting at 9 a.m. No experience needed. Hi, I'm Belinda at Jimmy Brian Honda, and we are volume pricing at your CRV headquarters. Look at this a 2000 CRV with automatic and air, power windows and locks, and so much more for $16,949 after a Jimmy Brian Honda discount of $2,100. And that same CRV, 2000 models, can be yours for $249 a month. No money down, you just sign and drive. And right now we have 25 CRVs to choose from. So pick up that phone and call us at 1 800 New Honda. We'll give you our best price on any new Honda in stock. Jimmy Brian Honda in Longwood.